Hey guys, and welcome back. My name's Jerry Chronic, and welcome back to the Pixelmon series. We beat the 7th gem last time, so we're going to be going for the 8th gem. I think it's level 67 or 8. One of those. One of those. But um, I did I did finish the finish the quest for uh, Detro, so we got to pick up a quest. And also, kind of in, in, the, in the way of doing that, I kind of accidentally unlock the Elite Four entrance. So at least we have the entrance to that, but I know where it is, so we're gonna, instead of actually going to the entrance, we're gonna do it legitimately and, and actually find it, because it's not that it's not that far away from the 8th gym. But uh, it's gonna be a while till we can fight the Elite Four, because they, their highest level, I think, is... Oh man, I just checked this the other day. It was 82, I think. I think it's 82. And as you see, we don't even have any in the 60s. So, yeah, it's going to be a while. It's going to be a while. And there's four of them plus the champion. And we gotta oh. we got to fight them one after the other without healing. Or maybe I'll change it to healing since the revives kind of don't work. So, we might change it up to healing. But still, even if with healing, it's going to be nearly impossible at our levels right now. Um, even if we're all s level 60s, it's still going to be probably impossible. Probably. We, we might be able to get it. But anyways, let's go get that quest from him. Um, just making sure. I rearranged my inventory, and I uh, I sold a bunch of stuff. That's why we got a bunch of coins down here. A little bit more, not much. I think we got like 12 more gold coins and a little bit more uh, iron coins, but not much. Not much, actually. Because we sold a couple of things to these guys, and... We sold the, um, I think it was, what was it, Thunderstone, I think, or Leafstone. And then we sold all our drops, so I'm just checking, I think. Yeah, everything else, we can't really do anything with the Obsidian. I'm going to put these away. Can't do anything with Obsidian, Saddles, or Bread. We should be on Peaceful. I'm going to check that, just make sure we don't need the Bread. And let's just rearrange these. This is Super Potion, Hyper Potion. This is Normal Potion, so we're going to put them like that. That's max. That's ether. We can sell ether because that doesn't do anything. I totally forgot about that. We gotta sell that because that that does not do a single thing, which kind of sucks. But uh, hopefully we'll get that fixed in the new update. I've been looking forward to the 1.7.2. The beta is going on right now for Pixelmon. Really looking forward to when it comes out because. Uh, they're not gonna. They're not really adding that much, but they're adding some really cool features. One of the one of which is uh, double battles, which is just gonna be awesome. Is that is that a? Oh, I thought it was a charm Charmander. It's a Monferno. Hmm. I think. I think that's yeah. This is Monferno. Hmm. I kind of I kind of want a Monferno, but no. We'll just keep going. So we're gonna go. Um. I'm gonna check my PC real quick, actually. Check what we have in here. Um, yeah, we got a Torchic, so we got a fire starter already. Um, okay, guys, sorry, I I had to take a cut there because I was I was really wondering what level the Elite Four went to, so I checked it on my um, spreadsheet, and I think that's I think my spreadsheet set up for the the map that I'm creating, which the gyms and Elite Four are a little bit different; they're a lot higher leveled. And so that one ends at 88. So I think this one ends at, I think it's higher than 82. I think it's 84, I think. 84, 85, I think. Ooh, we're in caps. We're in caps lock. There you go, clear that weather. So 80, I think it's 85, 80, 84, 85. So it's a little bit higher than 82. So it's gonna be quite a while until we fight them. So let's let's go check to see what what gym eight is. I think it's sixty five. Gym eight. I think it's sixty five. It might be higher. It might be like sixty seven or something. Oh, we're done. We're doing this again. This gets really annoying when this happens. Okay, there we go. And there, we good. We good. Can we get off him now? Yeah, we can just fall to the ground. Okay, so 67. Okay, 67. Level 67. And he's steel type, which means uh, ground type moves and fire type moves and fighting type moves are our best against him. Uh, Roswell has fighting type and ground type. Kurt has ground type. Uh, Drock, I 
has fire, I think. Firecracker's fire. Um, Jaws really can't do anything against them. Magneto might be able to do something, but he won't be able to do much. So our, our actually Jaws. No, no, he won't. He, I don't think he will be able to do much. So our, our heavy hitters are going to be definitely Kurt and Roswell, but also Firecracker and Drock Jr. And we got we got music. I didn't I didn't realize that. Got music. Okay. So let's go back to our home base. And so we gotta we gotta plan this plan this out. What do what do we want to do? Okay. So we got Firecracker. We gotta get him leveled up. But we gotta we can only level him up on really really high levels. Because all this stuff around here is so low. We didn't even get that quest yet. Got to go get that quest. Let's get that quest. And then we'll worry about uh, what we're going to fight him with. Oh, there's some Gravelers. Oh, there's some Sea Kings. I'm going to quickly... That's not what I meant to do. I meant to do that. Quickly move that from Jock Jr. Because he's level 49 now. And then move it to him. And our heavy hitters will be Kurt and Roswell pro probably pretty much. Unless we can get uh, Firecracker to level 59 where he evolves, then he will be our heaviest hitter. But I don't see us doing that before that, but we might. We might be able to. So that's why they're going to have the lucky eggs. And we're going to go and go to, let's see, let's go to Roswell. He's, he's pretty low leveled. It's funny, he's the biggest one, but he's one of my lowest levels. Okay, uh, and we're going to Earthquake you. That should have leveled me up, but it didn't. And yeah, that level up thing, I think, is, is a little bit off. Just a little bit, just a bit. Just not, not too much, just a bit. Just a wee bit. Okay, um, not really seeing much. Not really seeing much. Just a lot, a lot of Magikarps. A lot of Magikarps, a lot of Zubats. There's Magikarp. There's a Zubat. There's Lag. There's a Zubat. There's a Zubat. Zubats everywhere. We should be. Yes, here we go. This is what I'm talking about right here. Drapion. Level 49. This is where we're going to get some levels right here. He is he is uh, poison type, but he's also dark, so we can't use psychic on him. Okay, there we go. So, not, not that much higher level. Anyways, let's get the quest. Dr. Detro. Okay, I think I figured out kind of at least, what exactly this orb does. I found an ancient text that describes a cave near the mountain that now houses the Elite Four. Inside the cave is an altar and a stone box. The stone box is useless and does nothing unless you have the sacred orb. Do you follow so far? You know, yeah, I think I do. I think I do. Okay, so, nice. This this cave is near the Elite Four. Only the greatest trainers can... Or since... Since, I said nice... Since this cave is near the Elite Four, only the greatest trainers can enter. Those who have proven themselves worthy enough to protect and care for their Pokemon and strengthen them through the countless battles. Therefore, before I tell you the exact location of the hidden cave, I'm going to need you to bring me the last gym badge to prove that you are worthy enough to enter. Can you do that? Don't forget to take the orb with you along the way. Okay, got it. Get the last badge. Come back. Correct, but be warned, the last gym leader is very strong and should not be taken lightly. Also, we have no idea what may lie inside the cave, so it's best if you train as much as you can before returning. Got it. Got it. So, ooh, another Drapion. Awesome. Awesome. Level 41. Oh, crap. I forgot that he's really... Ooh, I, I, I killed him one hit. Cool, because I'm about dead. He was about dead, and I killed him one hit. Awesome. Awesome. I thought that was another Drapion. It's the first time I've seen two of them back to back. That was crazy. They, they're really rare. At least for me. I don't know if they're actually really rare. But for me, usually. Okay, he's bug poison. He's not flying. So we can actually use Earthquake on him, I think. Until, uh... Oh, one of the new updates in, in the 1.7 when they're updating it is abilities. Which means that, uh, like, gasoline and, and coughing and stuff will no longer be able to be hit... By ground type moves because uh, levitate will actually work, so that'd be that's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna take down a lot of a lot of our tactics because we've been using poison or uh, ground type moves against them, but um, I think it's gonna be awesome. So, 
Okay, let's use Firecracker because this guy is going to be Pettis. Bug. Pettis. And let's just flamethrower them all. And he should have leveled up from that. He did not. Okay. Okay, come on. Okay, Beedrill. Please have six Pokemon. That'd be nice. Pettis. Get as much level as levels Pettis. as I can from you. He had five. Mm, close enough. Close enough. Is that... What is that? What is that? Slow, 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 bro. We're getting some good uh, training in. We're going to just train just a ton. A ton of training. Just a ton of training. Goldie. That's what we need to Goldie. do. Just a ton of training. Okay. I thought I saw Drapion in the distance. Goldie. That used to be... And when I played uh, Diamond and Pearl, uh, when I played... Which one was... I had Diamond. When I, What is that? Is that a croconaw? That's a croconaw. He's a big one, too. But uh, it's going to die. I've never Whoa. seen one of those actually spawn. Anyways, when I used to play uh, Diamond, when I first got Diamond, and I had a, a Scor Scorpy or Scorpi, however you pronounce it, Whoa. I had one of those and I didn't, didn't know what it did. And then when it evolved into Drapion, I was like, I was, I was just freaking out. I loved it. I think Drapion looks so cool so awesome and he's dark poison which is pretty uh pretty pretty cool pretty uh pretty dangerous combo because it eliminates one of its biggest weaknesses so it's pretty awesome it used to it's probably if i'd have to say it's probably in my top 20 favorite um it's not in the top 10 i don't think no i put it probably like number nine nine or ten sharpedo's number one definitely number one no matter what. Unless they come up with some new one that's even cooler than a uh, a shark slash torpedo. But I don't, I don't think that's possible. Ooh, wheezing. Wheezing. Um, wheezing. Man, you, you're freaky when you do that. Okay. See, th this is the best place to train at night because these are usually really high level. Usually in the 30s and 40s. Usually. I mean, you do find some Bisharps in that mountain, but you, but like the Bisharps are like the only thing that's in the 40s or higher. I thought that was a tiny shell gun. Oh man, Whirlipede, Scolipede, Scolipede's a pretty cool one too. I liked him a lot in uh, Black, Pokemon Black, I think it was. Was he? Yeah, I think he was from that generation. I don't know. I I get them confused sometimes. I think he was from that. He's pretty cool. Um, the evolution of that one we just killed. Okay, level twenty-three, level thirty-four, thirty-four. You're going. Hey, hey, why are you, why are you, uh, why are you, why are you able to walk faster than me? It's not cool, dude. Not cool. Okay, they actually drop stuff, so we can sell that. Man, that's a steep drop. Hmm. It's uh, if you hear wind or in the background or anything, it's is about to storm here. It's been like really, 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 really humid today, and it's all of a sudden the wind just started picking up. And so, if you hear anything, just don't freak out. It's just, it's just, it's just a storm. It's uh, gonna come here in the next probably hour or so. I don't know. I haven't looked at the weather. I just know it's gonna rain because you get that feeling when you go outside and you and you can smell it. You know. I hope I'm not sounding too crazy. I probably am. I'm talking about smelling rain. But you, but you can. I mean, if you go outside, you can kind of smell it before it rains. It has that kind of, what is it called, petrichor, I think it is. The smell of smell of rain before it actually rains. Smell of the smell of what is it? Smell of ground the ground before it rains. I think that's what petrichor means. I think it is. Oh crap! Roswell died. Dang it. Um. Level forty six. Let's try firecracker. Uh, Maybe he can kill it. Maybe. Yeah, he can. Look at that. Ooh, Drifloon. I love Drifloon. Drifloon's awesome. It was always the hardest one. I always hated it because it only, in the games, it only appears on Fridays. And I would, like, almost never play the game on Friday. So I would always try, like, Thursday night, try to get it. And I do that thing where you reset the time on your uh, DS just to get it, and then it screw up some other games. And it was just hard as heck to get. Okay, come on. 
Oh, we're not gonna. Ooh, two two health left. And the potions, if I remember correctly, the potions don't work in battle. They work outside of battle. So we can't use a potion on him, but we got Jaws, which we can uh, Ice Beam. I think that will do something. Oh, he's not flying. Okay, it, it killed him. It killed him. Okay, so let's use one of these potions. Let's use the normal potion. And then let's use a super potion. There we go. He's 72 health now. And we can take out you. No, you. And we can flamethrower you. Now, if I was smart, I would actually, since I've been, since I'm using Firecracker right now, I would have actually switched over the uh, Lucky Egg to him, since I'm using him to kill everything. But uh, just now thought of that after we killed all that stuff. So a little too late. A little too late. Okay, there's Golbat. I don't like going after flying things. Here's a Sea King. Let's go Magneto. Magneto, take you out. That is a big Sea King, too. I gotta say, that's pretty impressive looking Sea King. It was. Lock on. No, not gonna learn that. Not gonna learn it. Okay, so we're looking for Sea King's Golducks. Golducks I like to fight. Golducks are usually pretty high leveled. But uh, I think I saw a Golduck earlier in the episode, but I don't remember where it went. So just going to check real quick what time we're at and also just make sure that I'm recording because you know sometimes that happens you you just talk to yourself for 30 minutes and think you recorded and nothing happened okay um ooh, ooh, I saw what is that is that ooh there's a trainer there's a trainer ooh it's one of those guys it's raining again one of these guys. These guys are usually pretty high level. I'm going to just take a guess right now. 33. Level 33. That's what it's going to be. Level 33. 43! Ooh! 10 off. So, not even close. And I think he's usually fire type. No. I was totally wrong. Oh, yeah. That's right. He's uh, like a bird catcher or something like that. So, he's got all flying type. Okay. Okay. Scyther. Come on, Scyther. You're gonna go you're gonna die, Scyther. You're gonna die. Oh, come on, stop missing. Hit him with the ice beam. Come on. I need you to hit that ice beam. He he couldn't hit the ice beam. Okay. 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 Oh, I'm poisoned. I didn't know that. Please don't kill me. He's gonna kill me. Oh I got him. Okay, awesome. Switch to Magneto. And Thunderbolt him. Pidgeot. Ooh. Oh wait, did they just did they change the model for Pidgeot? Go around. Let me let me see that model. It looks different, I think. Have I not seen a Pidgeot yet? Oh, that looks cool. I don't think I've seen a Pidgeot since I updated Pixel. Mo oh, that is awesome. It's nice and smooth. As opposed to before when it was kind of ugly. Okay, there we go. Cool. That guy had six Pokemon, I think. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I think he had six Pokemon. That's awesome. And they were all really high leveled, so... That was a lot of good XP right there. Okay, so Firecrack is 44 now. He's catching up to... A lot of the rest of the team, such as um, Jaws, it's one level lower than Jaws, two levels lower than Roswell, five levels lower than Drock Jr. Drock Jr. is going to evolve in six more levels, so we got to get him up there as well. I swear I just saw an Archeops. I know they don't spawn, but I swear I just saw one. Okay, I'm, I'm going... I'm going crazy. I'm going cra and I lost the cadaver that I was going to fight. Dang it. Ooh, no I didn't. Thank you for actually speaking up, cadaver. It's awesome. Ooh, bug type. Bug type will take him down. Wow. He what is he doing? He's he can go through trees. He just phases through them. 
Wow, that was freaky. Did he drop ender pearls? Ender pearls? Ender pearls? Anywhere? Anywhere? Nope. Nope. Okay. Okay. Um. So we we need to fight a lot of grass, bug, steel, or uh, psychic types, because he that's what he he's a bug type, or he's a bug fire type. So we need to fight a lot of bug, grass, steel, or psychic types, and there's not that many of those. Well, there is a lot, but a lot of them don't really spawn too commonly. Ooh. Here's a grass type, but he's a little level 5. Dang it. I hate this wooded area. So low leveled. So low leveled. The nighttime is the best place to train, and then in the daytime it just. There's nothing. Ooh, I thought that was a trainer. It's a Hitmonlee. I think. Yeah, I think he only knows fighting type and uh, normal type, which means he can't hit me. So. We're going to take you out. Oh, he's only level 27 anyway. Okay, and... Boom. What's up, Aaron? Um, hmm. Yeah. Okay, um... There's not really much else to f fight until after... After... Hmm. Aaron. Aaron is steel type, so that's going to be, I think that's one of the Pokemon that the gym leader has. I know he has Metagross. But I don't remember the other ones. But uh, Aaron would be Agron. I think he has Agron. So he has some pretty strong ones. So he's, he's not going to be easy to take down. That's why we got to train like crazy. And uh, let me check the time. And ooh, we're getting we're getting towards the end. So we gotta we'll fight a few more things, and that'll be it. So here we go, Pidgeot, Pidgeotto, Pidgeotto, Pidgeotto. There you go. Take that. You're dead. Goldine. Um, ooh, there's some ooh nice drops right here. Some free drops. Goldine. That's nice. Goldine. 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 Wow. Ooh. There's a invisible Pokemon right there. Okay. Okay. We gotta let's fight four more in Call of the Day. So we gotta fight four good ones. That Sea King's one of them. He's getting away. He's getting away. Uh, sea King. So we're gonna put out Magneto. Magneto, discharge. Okay, three more. We gotta find three more good ones. Three more good ones and call it a day. Ooh, that's a gold duck. That's a good one. That's a gold duck. Gold duck's a good one. Two gold ducks. The okay. So we need to find three more now. Two more. And now after we kill this one, one more. Oh, that was that was a good find. Finding both of those. Alright, Cracker's level 45 now. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, we gotta find another good one and not fall in that hole. Or that hole. Or, or, or that hole. Or lag. That's bad lag. Okay, we gotta... Ooh, there's, is that another gold duck? It is! Oh! There's two gold ducks! We're gonna fight two of them. I know I said one more, but... You know, there's, there's just... There's two of them right here. We gotta fight them both. We just have to. Level 47. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You're going down. One hit. One hit wonder. You're dead. You're dead. Well, guys, I hope you liked the video. And if you did, please leave a like. Going to be training some more next episode. And it's it's going to be a while till we take down the 8th gym. Because it's going to be hard. We might do what we did with the 7th gym. And we might just um, try to try to attack it and see how far we can get. And that way we know kind of what Pokemon, like, what to expect. Um... Which is kind of what I did in the Pokemon games whenever I'd play them. I'd, I'd play the gym leaders when I knew I wouldn't be able to beat them just to see what Pokemon they had. So we might do that. Um, I don't know. We might. We might. It depends. We probably will. We probably will. But guys, I hope you liked the episode. If you did, please leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.